So, uh, does Batman go down? Because I kind of want to know for uh, scientific purposes. As some of you may be aware, DC Comics would not allow Batman to go down in the Harley Quinn cartoon show on HBO Max, which has sparked a massive amount of articles and stories. Let's kick off this podcast by joining in with the fray. Do downtown, and I don't mean with Commissioner Gordon, or maybe I do. Or with Commissioner Gordon. (laughs) Oh, hello. (laughs) No judgment, no judgment, no judgment. Yes. A little thruple there. Or don't mm-hmm. him. Yeah, so that's that's what we're talking about. The thing is, they're talking about thruples too. That's another whole bag of worms right there. there do you ever think, because clearly Batman sees Gordon as a father figure. Yes. Do you ever think, let's say that Gordon's like, hey, Bats, what if you, me, and, and Catwoman got it all? Do you think he would... That would, is there any reality in which he would? Wow. Because we know Batman's kinky. We know Batman's kinky. We oh, know yeah. Catwoman's kinky. No, he's not. Not if he doesn't do that. I mean, I don't know. I, I think he's kinky. You don't think Batman's kinky? Yeah, Batman's a crybaby. Oh, well. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm, I'm not big on Batman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Shots know. fired at Batman. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Like, I, you know, that, that's hard to say because, you know, I, I make the joke like I, I, I stole this joke from Philip DeFranco, but the man put handlebars on his head. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> I think he's kinky, you know, but, um, I, yeah. but, you know, maybe, know. maybe he's not. I don't know. I can't. I can't. His superpower is super money and rich guys don't really have to try. They don't have to try, but trust me. Rich guy, from what I understand, and from eyes wide shut, rich guys <laughs> like to get wild. I mean, the famed that's documentary a type about of rich men. Guy. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, think about here's the thing. Think about it this way, Morgan. Right? When you have lots of money and power, it's easy to get bored. Can't what relate. do you do to get bored? You try things, you experiment, you get mm-hmm. into other kinds of stuff. If Batman. A.K. Bruce Wayne is willing to get this adventurous with his nightlife in a spandex and a souped-up, you know, engine. What do you think he's willing to do behind a closed door with a woman? I don't know. I'm just saying, he has so much self-discipline, right? Which could be really good. That could be extra kinky if he was like super disciplined and maybe. He doesn't do that, but maybe Catwoman just edges him for hours a night. <laughs> <laughs> you go, <laughs> so you're, so you, I mean, in, in one sense, when, one sense, you're saying Batman is more of a submissive, and Catwoman's more of a dumb. Yeah, I, I completely agree so, with that. Oh, I course, do agree with that. Catwoman is definitely. Have, have we seen Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, I, I do agree with that. As Catwoman. I do agree with that. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what they do get into, how much edging goes down, goes you no know, goes up and down, pun intended. I do see her being more dominant. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. good. definitely more dominant, especially in that relationship. Mm-hmm. I, I think, like, I think. if it wasn't for the the relationship with Selena Kyle and other like Vicky Vale and and those others, Good. it's Talia. Yeah, and Talia, like. All of like setting those aside, which admittedly that's a lot to set aside. The way they the they almost play Batman like he's asexual, like in a lot of ways. Like yeah, no, and, and I I, yeah. I think that's why I can't picture him. I, I think that's why I say like I just I don't know. I I can't picture Batman having sex. No, I I know what I that's At fair. All. It's fair because I'm connecting dots about. I'm saying, oh, Batman obviously has all kinds of things he's into. By Bay, by Bruce Wayne is into all kinds of things by being Batman. But be- just because he likes to have, you know, gets a, gets a adrenaline off by doing these type of things as crime fighting, it doesn't mean he's the same way in a bedroom. It, that's fair. It does not mean that. It does not mean that. Uh, mm-hmm. I am I am presuming. Uh, I'll give you that. But that being that. said, he I does think. seem fearless. So, I mean, I can't imagine Batman being like, oh, no, I don't do that. I, I'm not down with that. I imagine Batman being like, whatever, I don't care. I'm into, I, I, I will take every oh, yeah, chance no. he can. It would be, yes, mistress. But 
Sure, sure. He'll say yes, mistress, because mm-hmm. we have no fear. He, he has no fear at all. I mean, also, there's, I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> the idea that heroes don't do that. I'm a black man. There's a massive stereotype that black men don't do that. By, 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 and by that, I am referring to going down on a, a on somebody, you know, whatever gender. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I will, I can confess. Can I, can I confess? Can I be honest? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have confess. no problem doing that. The first time, what? sure, I may have been afraid, Wait. but I, I have no problem <laughs> doing confession. that. I, I, I mean, I, we're, we're all in a nice and safe Christian booth, I guess. Uh, but I, <laughs> I think we're in the opposite of that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have an upside down cross, literally, like just out of frame. <laughs> yeah, you, she doesn't have a cross. It is upside down, but the, that's beside the point. It's an upside down cross. Yeah. <laughs> but point, I, but I, I do know from, from talking to other <laughs> black men, they have when, it, when it's gotten down to it. It almost does seem like it's fear, fear of doing that. So if fear is something that prevents guys from doing, from going down on somebody, no matter how much they may be into them, and Batman clearly doesn't give a fuck about fear, I can't see him not mm-hmm. going down on Catwoman or, or Talia or Vicky Bell, whatever. That's that's the logic well, I'm, I'm concluding. Is it fear though, or is it like? pride there's always that too where it's like good point it's uh good point well okay it's a kind of it's a it's purely giving i mean at that point that's Mm -hmm. pure giving you are benefiting nothing from it unless you enjoy it which then that's yeah that's oh i agree you can can enjoy it's a purely giving move which is kind of in general like going down someone I think it requires a lot of trust. It's yes. a lot of uh, to me. That's it's more intimate than sex. Like, Interesting. Uh, do you, th- so you think? Do you, do you like, think that's more? Do you think? Do you think that's more intimate? Um. Well, yeah, it could be. It definitely could be. It could be seen that way. Um, because it's like you're. It's it's hard because if if you really think about it what you're doing is you're you're taking you're you're allowing a very private part of you and l- allowing someone to shove their face up inside of it um and yeah. that's pretty and, intimate and you know like whereas or you are putting yeah. your face <laughs> yeah and you're trusting their private part in your face yeah and and yeah. that's yeah that's pretty intimate I, i'm curious i, I want to jump back real quick to, to what you were saying ethan about fear like i you know like like you said this is this is a safe space um you know like i i i I am not afraid i am very unafraid um and uh so i'm i'm curious about the fear like what like like what kind of like is it a fear of like of of the physical like oh is it going to be gross or is it fear of of like it's gonna you know stab me in the head like i'm curious what the what the, what the, what the fear is <laughs> that, there's so much there's so many parts so much working materials down here okay or maybe is that it is that is it the fear of like not knowing what to do and so of that, course you know okay that that's what i always assume part i mean from what i understand too it's, mm-hmm. it's it, it is the fear of the unknown it's okay and also so this is wrapping with morgan and you are both saying say so nate is that men are prideful. Mm-hmm. So if we don't understand something, we're that much like less likely to inquire about it or try to understand it because you don't want to seem stupid. Mm-hmm. You don't want to seem weak. Now, I, I know, obviously, as more as men have progressed, um, we've tried to kind of get come in touch, come in, uh, get in touch with our, you know, all these our emotions and everything else, but it's still there. It's still, it's, you know, it's been indoctrinated into us for how many generations? So mm-hmm. I think, I do think that's part of it is that I don't understand the full mechanics of this doodad, and I don't want anybody to know that. Therefore, I'm gonna cross my arms and sit here. I do think that's part of it. Yeah, he's gonna get home. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, put your mouth on my doodad." <laughs> Does that track with either of you? Oh, like a fear of mm-hmm. like Does that speak? Of, well, yeah. Does that seem like like a girl? No. Well, I mean, I guess the idea that men are less likely to do that because of pride and fear in that manner with, you know, for, for women, for women. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think like, yeah, like a, a fear point. I can't speak for men because I'm not one. Sure. But I like to think I understand them pretty sure. well. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I can definitely see it coming from a pride place or a fear place as well. And then, I mean, fear and pride kind of goes hand in hand. If you're scared, you're not going to say I'm scared. But yeah, it's unlikely. Normally. 
and we have to we do have to address this too um, so, i mean we, we all have we all have, gay, we all have gay friends we all know gay people from the ones i've talked to about this i had a gay roommate for years and he mentioned how it's not uncommon of course in the gay community amongst men to go down on your partner it's it's very common understandable it's it mm-hmm. happens pretty it's, it's very much common uh it, well, it's it almost like I, yeah it's like i always, i would almost feel like i don't know i don't know if i like toe line i don't know if i would ever have sex with a girl probably would <laughs> i haven't though no, no but no i would feel like I think, I don't know, I would probably be better at it than a guy because I know what girls like because I am a girl. Right. It's more intuitive. If that makes sense. It so does. like in the gay community or lesbian community, it may be less, there's less fear there because you have the same parts. So right. you have a better idea of the mechanics. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was going towards. And that makes sense like from a purely, yeah, from a... I brought it up. Well, and, and I, think, I think another thing that needs to be said that is important in in this realm is communication like you know because i can say from experience my uh the 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 joke in in my marriage is when we talk about previous escapades we always say the books we've read um and (laughs) from one book to the next uh i had one book that liked one thing and when i tried that thing with the other person they were like what the are you doing you need to do this and i was like Yes, dear. And, you know, and yeah. that was what yes, happened. Yes, book. Yes, 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 yes book. <laughs> yes, Pride and Prejudice. Let's go this way. Um, but <laughs> but uh, well chosen. Perfect proof. I quite intended by the word. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, like, I think communication is extremely important because because even, like, and I would imagine this is true. Again, I'm, I'm a straight man, so I... I I don't know, but I am guessing with some conjecture that that is also very important within the gay community because, because you know, something that you may like, your partner may not. So, so of there needs course. to be some communication. But I do agree that um, that having having those parts makes it where you've got a little bit of a of an upper hand on somebody who doesn't because yeah. like. Lord knows, I didn't know where 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 the 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 thingy the buttons were. You know, I I needed to be shown. That. Fascinating to me. Whenever I hear that, I'm like, I'm just purely fascinated. I'm like, you didn't know where it was. I found it when I was like five. You were the AP calculus version of a uh, sex ed. Oh, no, that's, oh, it's all of us. Don't worry. I, 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 I trust me. I believe I believe you entirely. Uh, it, t- it took what took you what took women. Girls, five years to guys with fifty. The, the thing about it is, is plus I, I do of course need a disclaimer. I am a straight male as well, and also I, I I am speaking in generalizations about gays from the ones I've talked to about certain things. So my purview is very limited to that to that extent. So I, of course there could be plenty that are not into this, and I want mm-hmm. to apologize if, if they seem like I was trying to say I know all about that. I do not. Mm-hmm. But the logic I was going to was the idea that, like you said, it's similar equipment that you know, and it's we tend to fear uh things we don't we, t- we tend to fear the unknown we tend to trust the familiar so that's that logic yeah exactly mm-hmm. that's that's what yeah that's how i feel about it it's like oh, we have the same like i said if i was ever to sleep with a girl i'd probably be perfectly comfortable being like hey. <laughs> <laughs> well it's one of those things that that you know if especially if you're coming in blind like if you're coming in like you know like two virgins groping in the dark <laughs> like it, it's going to be it's going to be like the there. mistakes will be made but you right. know when when you do begin to get comfortable with it at the very least you know you when you start knowing where the things are and you know like where the clitoris is and that sort of thing um you know it's so fascinating to me i can't stand it well that well that's the thing like like I, I now do not know. like you once know. once i discovered because well like, you know again i will fully reveal that like i you know from from like fourth grade to seventh grade i didn't even know there was a hole there for females so i was just i was clueless and you know and, and i just learned the, the, the schoolyard you lie. What's because that? Because they have to. Oh wait, we talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we talked about. It. Well, well, because because they like, have to. I'm like fascinated because. <laughs> well, it also like, depends on how. Child has like anatomy books. Yeah. Well, because I, obviously Nate's we talked before about, and I don't mean to speak out of turn, but Nate talked about how his family wasn't as open about. Oh yeah, kind of definitely stuff. not. Right. Definitely yeah, not I, for, I forgot that from last time. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And my family wasn't as open, wasn't as open about it either. They they didn't they weren't ashamed of it, but it just wasn't one mm-hmm. of the things that comes up. And my dad, yeah, again, I, I, I feel like my family was very open. 
Yeah, I mean, which is cool, which actually I think is healthier, to be completely honest. But I, I came, Nate and I both. No, wait, can I not be open? I, no, no, I, my family wasn't open. Oh, your family wasn't open? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. No. So, but so was very how, religious, mm-hmm. very. Mm-hmm. That was my family as well. But how did you learn about the male anatomy so early? Um, I don't, well, I have a lot of brothers, so I probably saw penises before. Mm-hmm. other people just like, literally just growing sure. up around it having a little i have little brothers too and so my oldest youngest sibling is six years younger than me so i would have been changing diapers right and doing things like that i know there's this really funny story <laughs> so i guess maybe my family was like slightly open now that i think about it but i know um my mom tells this story about my older brother and i were in a in the car i think we were at the gas station or something and I guess there was a woman with like really big boobs or something. Okay. And I was like, mommy, like, whoa, like what are those? And she was like, oh, well they're breasts. And I was like, wow. And she was like, well, you'll get them when you grow up or something like that. And I said to my brother, I was like, you hear that? When I get older, I'm gonna have boobs. And my brother said, well, Morgan, I've had a penis my whole life. <laughs> 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 wow. <Perfect>. So, <laughs> meaning maybe I had that education is what I mean. Yeah. Like maybe my mother did talk to me about um but I also know my school um I went to a private school. They taught um like not like sex ed but like I guess like a health class but age appropriate. I remember in like first or second grade there was like diagrams of babies and like one baby had a penis and one baby had a vagina. Like I remember seeing this because they put it on the projector, great. like the slide. Remember the the like the glass? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The projector and they had like the clear slides that they would put on. I remember them putting it up and like they talked about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back now to, to to the world of Batman. You mentioned before that old Batsy or Brucey is extremely disciplined. In, and there is obviously evidence of people who are such who are such strict and rigid with their discipline that when they had that sometimes being bound that tight when you have an opportunity to let loose you do and you let loose hard uh, and I'm not, I'm not you know, obviously trying to pick on the Japanese but you know often with how strict their culture is with certain things and when they get the chance to go to karaoke or do some other promiscuous things behind closed doors they go ham. Um, and not everyone, not everyone again, but it's part of their culture. We, we, we understand, we know that that's the kind of things that happens because they are held to such a high standard all the time. If old Brucey is a man of like extreme discipline, 23 hours a day, seven days a week, if he has an hour to cut loose, I imagine he cuts loose hard. Mm-hmm. I would. Mm-hmm. So that's that's part that's of my life. That's what I'm saying. Experience. I'm telling you, it's all edging all the time. <laughs> Edg- I feel like edging is like such a, it's, a te- it's, a, it's literally a tease. Edging is a tease. For those who don't know what edging is, I don't, I don't know if you want to explain it, but but it's it's a it's a tease. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's well, let's, well, let's explain it. Let's be, you know, it? let's yeah, yeah let's. Be well, okay, yeah. So yeah, we're in church. We're in church. edging, edging is when you are either engaging, you're engaging in some form of sex with your partner, and you get them as close to the point of climax as humanly possible without letting them climax and then you stop Mm -hmm. and then you let it cool down a little bit like a little bit and you start again and then you stop and then you start again and then you stop and then whatever however many times you want to do that however much you want to torture the other person how much they want to be tortured is more Mm -hmm. important Yes. And then when you finally climax, it's like, oh my god! Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done it before. It's Chris. It is Christmas morning. <laughs> it's time, Christmas morning, Christmas afternoon, and Christmas, like- Christmas night. I do agree because of Brucey's discipline, he could edge probably. He probably out edge anybody. But I'm telling uh, you, it's all edging all the time. All edging. He may, he may do that too. But I, I, I don't know. I feel like. Well, let me ask you this then, Morgan and Nate. Can you, what hero do you think? Or even a combo character that's kind of a hero adjacent or whatnot. You can you see going down on their partner or just someone they like? So many. So a gambit first off. Okay, first all right, that's, all right. That's, that's a given. That's gambit obviously. eating yeah. so much that's, pussy. Right. You have no idea. <laughs> Face deep in it all the time. Fair. You can tell. He says share. Oh. <laughs> that's why his eyes are red. It's like he's just down there all the time. It's, it's, it's pink eye. He has yeah, pink it's, eye. It's just, ah! 
That's gross. <laughs> Sorry, that, was, that, was, that was a lie. No. So Gambit oh definitely God. does. Definitely. For sure. Deadpool has sex with everyone. That's canon. Fair. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. He goes out on guys and, and women. Yeah. Yeah, he's and, pansexual. And so. Yeah. He's which is awesome. Deadpool's legit. Yeah. Um he's like the most like free love. Yeah, he really is. Yeah. <laughs> Beast. It doesn't oh, have to yeah. be a man. It doesn't have to be man. Have to be man. Just, I was yeah. thinking Beast. Beast. Yeah, definitely really? Beast. Oh yeah. Hank, Hank McCoy. Oh yeah, Hank McCoy. You you gotta know because he like he is he is smart and he is also he's brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant and he's also a beast. So he knows. He's a beast. Like a beast. so, I I would imagine he's also a beast in bed. Sorry, I had to go there. Um, <laughs> okay. But okay. Uh, okay. but yeah, I just I I, like, I don't know like you know. Uh, in my opinion, I think he kind of has that kind of personality to like know what he should do in certain situations and not even what he should do. Like I kind of imagine maybe Beast, one of the guys just kind of enjoys it. He's just kind of like, I like, like what gets me off is getting you off. Um, it's yes. that kind of I, I agree. Yes. I, I, yeah, Beast does, I mean, Hank is obviously a very generous, very giving person. Mm -hmm. And he is very emotionally, he's, an empath, he's empathetic too. Mm -hmm. So yes, on that, I do agree. He would, based off of those logic lines he probably would mm -hmm. yeah that's fair i would imagine logan too wolverine i, I think i think he uh, for, so for if it was gene he would he would probably kill to do that with gene uh, oh yeah i imagine yeah, yeah. He probably has uh, in the comics, but I don't know. We'll have to find out. Probably. I mean, yeah, we could research that. He probably has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, here's the thing. <laughs> Do you think Scott Summers? Scott Summers? No. 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 Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't either. I do not either. No. I find it interesting, though, the 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 the, the way it's viewed, where Felicio and Conolingus is viewed differently. A hundred percent agree. That find I find that interesting because. While they are different and different things are happening down there, um, obviously, um, I I don't know. To, to me, it's like on the level of you know, I, I I hesitate to use this word, but it's the only word I can think of. Grossness scale. I I, I think they're about the same level. Like you know, you could, you could also say comparable. You could yeah, say comparable. comparable. Yeah, like they're, they're comparable in in terms of their like the 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 body things that are happening it's just Agreed. one is, is one just has a bigger hole than the other you know like, already yeah already. i mean also, i mean yeah that, that. it's like a it's an internal also it's like internal versus external i mean mm -hmm. it's just yes. yeah like you know if you're going down to a girl you're going like in yeah. is right and it, it, yeah. i mean there's a little more consistent bodily fluid happening right. especially if you're doing a good job Thank you. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, so so the thing is, like, obviously, uh, the three of us, none of us are by or have had experiences with both. Uh, that would be the best, I guess, perspective. If someone has had done it with both, they make it say, yeah. yeah, it's pretty much the same. Or this one is a little more weird, or because of this, whatever. Well, uh, I would imagine it's. Our... Well, I would imagine it's different. Like it's it's. Like sure, it definitely different. is different. Like it's two different experiences, yeah. obviously. But I, I just, I don't know. Like, and, and it's probably, and this is, this is coming from my bias in that, you know, number one, one of these things, I find arousing. One of these things, I do not. So you know, so <laughs> there's that. Mean? So like, I'm, and also like, I have the thing that I don't find arousing. Um, so so it's like I look <laughs> at that and I'm like. Yeah, but it smells, and I pee out of it, and yeah, yeah. you know, like, like yeah. it's, it's so that's kind of so. So I'm coming at it from the angle of like I can't imagine people think this is fine, you know, but mm. I, I recognize that I'm coming at it from a very biased perspective, right? And I, I, I don't want to point out that Nate did say he's coming at it twice, just in case you missed his pun the first time. Um, <laughs> but 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 I, I I completely agree. It is a you have to factor in bias. There's no way around it. It's but at the same time, like we said earlier, it's amount of first the idea of the actual act seems to be more giving towards the person receiving it. So mm -hmm. that person, whoever's going down, is more or less being more unselfish. That 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 is comparable. Mm -hmm. And then two, okay. it isn't it isn't a, an open orifice of some kind. But regardless of the size of the hole, it is an orifice. So mm -hmm. you are experiencing smells and liquids and things of that nature, and you're being willing to do that for the greater good. And you're Older being boy. willing to put it in your mouth. That's why it's more intimate to me. Uh, okay. And I, I, yeah, fair. Okay. 
that fair, mm-hmm. fair, fair, fair. That's what this That's whole episode I mean. was about. Was about, was about Morgan proving to me that it was more into the and he won, and she won. Like good night, everybody. Take care of yourself. Uh, drive your cars. <laughs> that being said, I think <laughs> I think hand jobs across the board are less intimate. I've never had a hand job. <laughs> okay. Because I don't Fair have a penis. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, so hand job or fingering? If someone's oh, just fingering, if that feels no, great. No, I, I, I think for I don't you. I think you guys understand how it works down there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we are we are almost fifty, so we, we we finally started learning. But what I mean is, if that's all that's happening, it's just that. I think it is more intimate for a woman to have received getting fingered. I, I think that's more intimate, but it's still not as intimate as sex. I don't. Think. I don't know. That can be really good. Yeah. For you, from your perspective, yeah. I guess. So I've heard like guys are just kind of like meh about hand jobs, and that's fine. I would whatever. Well, yeah, because because like, well, we it's we've been doing it to ourselves. Thing. We know what to do. <laughs> you know. Pastor, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Exactly, but kind of, no, I mean, I just think I think I think that is something that's a little different for women because mm-hmm. to me, like that could be it, and I'd be like, good night, that was great. That's a good point, though. I do think <laughs> women enjoy getting fingered typically more than guys enjoy. And I'm speaking in generalizations. I do think women enjoy that more than guys enjoy just hand More than guys enjoy hand jobs, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 as many jokes as I've heard about like hand jobs and guys not liking them, I think it's pretty universal that they're just not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys have like perfected it. <laughs> you, no one's going to jerk you off better than you. But yeah. co- copious, and I mean copious hours of training. Rigorous. <laughs> yeah. Four or five, six times a day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like I... guys have it so lucky. <laughs> you think you think so? I don't know. <laughs> if I had a penis, I'd never leave my room. <laughs> we did it for years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that caught me. <laughs> that caught me. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so you fucking true. Really well, that, well, that's the thing. Like, like you said, like, you know, it's it's you know, we 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 spent a lot of time just you know, like, yeah, and uh, just uh, just cranking the anchor, and um, <laughs> and you know, so it gets to the point where somebody else does it. You're like, okay, you're doing it too hard. You're doing it too soft. Okay, go a little bit. Of, oh, okay, okay. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Like you know, it just, it's not. Yeah you know um it's just better and and it really at that point it's like <laughs> um you know y- you want to stick it in something at this point you know it's like right it's that's that's there's no more hand you 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 want something more <laughs> like, than that you know i, I know <laughs> this just, I, i've mastered this technique yes. master can you move on to step two yes Please. i could have gone yeah. home and done this could, could we like, I did this at home an hour ago but yeah yeah but that so you know I, but that's I, just I, my opinion i you know like fair and we are speaking Obviously, more from our own opinions, but I yes. I think I think that seems to be more the case. We're gonna have to cut so, so much out. <laughs> <laughs> this, this entire podcast will be ten minutes by the end of this. Like, just maybe ten minutes. I... Let me ask you this, Morgan and Nate. Now, you guys are both grown ass people. Do you think Batman ever jerks off? Or Bruce Wayne? No, I don't. What? What man doesn't? Well, I have heard tell. From guys' mouths that they they're lying. I, and that's what I think too. I think they're lying. Yeah. But I have heard it. I I Yeah. The reason why I don't think he does is because as Bruce Wayne, yeah. he can pretty much get any woman he wants. So like frankly, you know, like like hell, he could get a high end escort if he wanted to. Sure. Um, sure. So, in in my opinion, it's almost like yeah, he does jerk off, but his version of jerking off is calling a prostitute. You know what I, I mean? Someone do it for him. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Okay. Sometimes you just want some alone time. Women can. I, I feel like I I feel like it's easier for women to have a sexual encounter mm-hmm. with another person. It, it can be, yeah. yeah. In general, I mean, it's just. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've always been the impression that like, it could be go easier for and, like, what you're saying is more or less it could be easier for a woman to pick up a guy. Yes. For a yeah. guy. Okay. So like if, but I think I don't know. I I guess this is personal bias. I feel like everyone enjoys just 
kind of having a little one-on-one time. No, I one too. on just only you. Like, just yeah, yeah, you. I mean, I mean, uh, one on self time or self care. Self care. One on self-care. self time. Yeah, yeah, not one-on-one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Self-care. I, I, agree. Like, yeah. I feel like, and to me, I mean, like masturbation is like the most natural thing ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it literally is. I mean, there's so literally yeah. like it starts early kids kids do it no, it's like out, in out different, yes you no, guys both absolutely. have kids you've seen your kids do it yeah um so but, yeah, i need to bring up memories there <laughs> parents but the the thing is two <laughs> things real quick that i'll say is just that um number one tyler durden said self-improvement is masturbation self-destruction dot 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 so i do think sometimes it doesn't seem unreasonable that batman would realize to get his head on right or to kind of calm down or whatever, to be an inner fight, inner peace, he might do that. Mm-hmm. Another thing, I, I, I understand what you're saying, Nate, of course he can get Fine. any woman he wants. But at the same time, Batman, we all know he's an introvert, but also he's, it, he doesn't necessarily seek out the company of others that much. He mm-hmm. might, if he's trying to take care of himself, he odds are, if it's not Alfred doing it for him, he'd probably do it himself. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. uh, I we're high possibly, you know, so. That is very true. Oh, well, that's, I, I think that, that's what I was trying to get at when I was saying is like, you know, women could go out and pick someone up. And sometimes you just want to have some time to yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's kind of what I meant. It's like, it's not even, it's not always about, sometimes it's just about the release and it doesn't have to be with a person. Yeah. Yes. It's just it's stress no relief. No shame with that. Either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a very good point. Like, it, you know, uh, like there, there definitely are scenarios where I could imagine, you know, him being like, okay. I'm about to go on a mission, and Talia is going to be there. Better get this one off so I don't make any stupid decisions. Um, right. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Very logical approach. Right. Yeah. So he's being logical. Yeah. See, I've got I've got this long flight in the Batwing. I might as well spend some right. take off the and cod these piece. Very and... tight. These tights are nothing for their motivation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll just wiggle in my tights a little bit, and then I'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good question too. Can you imagine like Batman just like leaving him on and just grinding against the tights until he gets the job done? Like I'm in a hurry. I gotta go oh, out for it. I gotta go. Uh, you gotta find you find the seam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that actually comes up with with another uh, like like it's 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 tangentially related to sexuality. But but how do you think he pees in that thing? Like you know, it's like does he have a zipper under the cod piece? Like what what no. it? Look. He holds it. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> he holds I work in a restaurant, okay? I work in a restaurant. I wake up at 4 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I pee. Sometimes between 4 and 5 a.m. I pee. And then I go to work, and I don't pee again until I get home at, like, 5 p.m. Oh, my Jeez. God. God. Do you consume liquids while you're at work? <laughs> yeah, I, d- I drink water the whole time. Okay. Yeah, but so, And I guess it hits, like, what? By, I say, 11, you're, you have to go again, right? I don't know. I don't even feel it anymore. I don't even think about oh, it. Okay, you're, you're, you're that trained. And I've had a child. Like, yeah, your it should be harder for me to do that. There, yeah. That okay. So you so but, in that case with extreme training, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. That's I, I what I mean. It's discipline. It's discipline. that discipline. I literally don't think about it. I don't think about it. I refuse. It was just really bad, guys. I, I, yeah, you probably want to try to go <laughs> once a. Yeah. I just don't have to. I just don't have to. Fair enough. I, I do not ever feel the urge when I'm at work. If I do, I'm bored. That's if I'm bored at work, I'll bored you. four times. I'm if like, you stop mm-hmm. long enough, you realize it. Exactly. But if I'm go 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 and I'm working, I don't think about it. I'm focused on other things. Even though I chug water because I work in the kitchen a lot. It's hot. I sit there. I'm drinking water the whole time, and yeah. I will not pee. I'll get home, and I'm like, "Wow, I really need to be." <laughs> it hits you all but it's at like, once. It's, but it's like my brain just shuts it off. And it's like, oh, well, so, this. so that's fair. I don't have time with extreme training and discipline. I know people do that kind of stuff. Athletes do that kind of stuff. That's fair. One thing I will say though, in your scenario, in the most athlete scenario, the rigorousness of what you're doing <laughs> wouldn't necessarily cause an ejection of liquid. Batman gets punched by Killer Croc in the gut. <laughs> it, it's gonna get messy. So if he's holding it, yeah. But he's also, but if he's sweating and stuff, he might not have to pee as much either. Well, then that's true. That's true. If he's, he might sweat it out the entire time, and not need to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. I, I don't imagine Batman drinking on the job. There was one episode of Justice League. Let me know. It's just Justice League. But there was a uh, what was his name? Nate. The, it's like it's a guy. It's a DC character 
who works like a dream lord essentially he's able to go into people's dreams and cause them face like a freddy krueger of, of sorts oh yeah i know what you're talking about yeah you know what i'm talking about that guy he let me look up the name. the name now. but he this character was attacking the justice league and because all the other characters are used to being a lot less nocturnal than batman in the end batman was the last one last man standing against this guy and he had to like pull his car over stand man he was the last man standing he was the last one the last hero that hadn't fallen asleep it wasn't subject to this guy's dr destiny terror. it probably yeah probably oh destiny. um yeah. so dr destiny was trying to figure out how to get batman to fall asleep and batman started slightly dozing off and he pulled his car over to like, essentially a starbucks and got, like a triple shot espresso and he just chugging it down that's like the only time I can actually think of Batman even eating or drinking anything, and that was purely out of demand, out of you know, necessity. So, well, all I can say is that my nearly forty-year-old bladder, uh, just having this conversation, makes me want to pee. So, um, <laughs> so okay. Now um, we, we've talked a lot about Batman. Like, like we, we've done something that I think is a little unfair. We've spent this whole time talking about does Batman? It was specifically this was does Batman go down on Selena Kyle? What? Let's talk about Selena Kyle a little bit. Like, you know, um, I, 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 I'm gonna throw out there. Do you think she wants him to go down on her? I, I think I know the answer is obviously yes, but that's me in my opinion. But what do we all think? What are we talking about? I absolutely fucking love The answer is yes. Yeah, the answer is hard yes. I think here's the thing too. Cats, I mean, let's get into this. Cats like licking themselves all over. So getting into that. They're all like, meow, meow, meow. Yeah. So of course, it makes a stand. Meow, meow, meow. Right. That's what cats do. They yell. They, 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 yeah, they, they do. They do. They sit there and they're like, I'm horny. But then they're in heat. Yes. So there's no reality which she doesn't like. Um, and also, you mentioned the idea too of like, I know lots of women like to be, it's pleasing to have someone go down on them. No person would want to be pleased more than Selena Kyle. She, you know, kind of, she's like an urban queen. Does, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's no reality that she wouldn't want that. Yeah, do, you think, do you think otherwise, Nate? No, no, I just was throwing, I was just throwing that idea out there because we did spend a lot of time talking about this. Like the the impetus for this was does he go down on Selena? You know, I thought we should probably also talk a little bit about Selena too because you know she's part of this equation. She's just as important. I agree. Um, I agree. I, you know, so there, there could be a question like, does she want him to go down on her? Yeah, uh, that's that could have been yeah. The yeah, answer is yes. That's not even a question. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. There's no question. I'm telling you guys, that's not a question. Do yeah. you want your dick sucked? <laughs> right, right. It, it, it stays the same. I mean, Actually. <laughs> you're lying and, and no I'm not right <laughs> I am not and, I, and, and I'm not saying this out of any prudishness or anything but let's just say I had a bad experience with oh, a novice no. do you think Batman's ever had a threesome with Catwoman and Poison Ivy and Poison Ivy I don't even know if Catwoman and Poison oh, Ivy I was wrong why am I off there oh man I'm thinking Harley Quinn Oh, Damn okay. So, so I was going to say, I'm down, down with the boys. Right if I was record. Batman, I'd be like, yes, please. Um, but that, here's, the, you know, here's the thing. It's, she's literally like called Salads, Poison Ivy. So she's literally called Poison Ivy. I Would you? She just wants to take care of the planet. Yeah. 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 But, Did you know how good that weed would be afterwards? <laughs> I, I got a thing for redheads. I can't. You never did. Yeah, redheads. So. That's fair. I, but Harley so, Quinn too. So once yes. I talked, once, yes, once I told Harley. Anthony, I was talking to him, and I said, "Oh, the pretty redhead." And he goes, "You don't have to say pretty redhead. It's implied." <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're kidding yourself. Okay. You're kidding yourself. I, 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 I will, I will say this. If it was like a threesome, I don't. I, Batman seems too cautious. He seems like no, nah, I would not go anywhere near that that honey trap. Uh, I, I. I think if it, he was not opposed to threesomes, like say for example, it is Talia and Catwoman. I do see think he'd be in, in favor of that. Talia would they would kill each other. They would. Just they kill they each might, other. but we've all we all know that part of <laughs> what can be the most fun, like sometimes it's a thin line between love and hate. So if they're competitive and kind of getting into it, that can be even more more fun if yeah. they're you know if they're that's all right that's a very masculine point of view uh, thank you thank you <laughs> well <laughs> well i could see i could see maybe um uh i can see i definitely could see him being okay with uh with selena kyle and like vicky vale or something like that because 
you know, um, because in there, there's really no, like, the riskiest person in that scenario is Selena Kyle. And, you know, I don't think where, where Talia, Talia is a little bit of a, she's a little wacky. And she would, that would, they would kill each other. Yeah. I, I don't, well, I, yeah, I don't, <laughs> she is a killer. She is a literal, Talia is a literal trained assassin. Fair. Yes. Um, but Harley Quinn is literally psychotic. And mm. Poison Ivy, as best I can understand, has murdered guys she was trying to get close to that she didn't have any feelings for because she typically is more or less. I think she's just gay. I don't think she's even bi. Mm -hmm. So, wait, who? Sorry. Harley, I'm sorry. Uh, Poison Ivy. I don't think Poison Ivy is into guys at all. I don't think I. So I. Well, I like. I would say I would think that Harley is almost or not Harley. Uh, why do I keep Why do we keep saying Harley? Uh, Poison Ivy is almost asexual. Like I think she was. She's almost. Yeah, she's yeah, she pretty much yeah. asexual except for Harley. I know her yeah. and Harley obviously. She loves her plants. She yeah. loves her plants, and then she loves Harley. So it's just those two. So I, yeah, it seems unlikely that. I mean, I guess the original question you had, Nate, was would Batman hook up with those, do a threesome with them, those, with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy? Or Nate, I'm sorry. That Morgan. was me. Morgan, I'm yeah, sorry. I was going to say, you I, I, so yeah, similar yeah. in the face somehow. Um, Disrespectful. <laughs> no, the answer is a hard I quit the podcast. I don't want to do anymore. No, no, I can change. I can change. You can turn across <laughs> over again. There's I did want to shift here slightly just to bring up uh, one more little can of worms, and that is, do we think Batman is different in bed than Bruce Wayne? Oh. Oh, oh yes! Yeah, I do. Because his persona is a different persona. I do, he is. Yeah, he, he definitely is. He mm -hmm. definitely is. Because here's the Maybe thing. Maybe Batman edges all the time. Batman is 100% edges all the time. <laughs> I, I don't know. But Bruce here, Wayne oh, is like... Ah, no, I, here's a here's the thing. Bruce Wayne is the mask. Bruce Wayne is what he thinks people want to see or need to see as his billionaire playboy. Okay. So, what is the most? What would you expect a billionaire playboy to be like in bed? Almost you're expecting to be lazy. Right. <laughs> the things you guys are describing, as far as calling, getting a call bro to do this for you, and kind of mm -hmm. getting doing blow while they're. That's what you'd expect Bruce Wayne to do. I'm not saying Bruce Wayne would ever do would do blow or anything, but he would lean more. Bruce Wayne's got that. blow. <laughs> I, I I can't. I mean, too disciplined. You talking about discipline? Doing cocaine? That's the least disciplined thing there is. I know, but it's hard for me to separate Bruce Wayne and Bateman. Patrick yeah. Bateman, because yeah, Christian Bale play. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I to answer your question though, Sarah, yeah, yes, they definitely are different, and I think Batman the way he does. So say for example. He's with uh, someone that doesn't know he's Batman. He's Bruce Wayne. He's definitely going to be like cocky. Well, yeah, he could probably be cocky. He'd be fake. Whatever he's doing, he's doing because he thinks that's what she wants a billionaire to do. <laughs> when he's Batman, he's being he's his true self. So Bruce Wayne, let's say edging, for example, hundred percent edging. <laughs> might be might be, the edging is probably one thing, but uh, it might be that Bruce Wayne would be more willing to do. If we're saying that Batman doesn't go down or heroes don't do that, Bruce Wayne might because like it's this is for my cover. I have to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I I, I agree. I think uh, you know I I made the comment a couple of weeks ago. I think if anything, but like uh, I would imagine. If I had to guess, Batman is a beast in bed, and and Bruce Wayne is milk toast. Like he's just yes, he just makes, lays yes, there. I would say I would say Batman is going down, and Bruce Wayne is not. Because yes, I agree. I'm just gonna say it, just for the record. I'm gonna put this out here. Heroes, all mine at least, do that. <laughs> 